Well, we're going to a gentleman's house who just moved um, on the 12th into Florida from the state of Kansas. He was just convicted January of 07, so it's a new conviction out of the state of Kansas. Anytime you have to register as a sex offender in another state, um, irrelevant of what the charge is, you automatically have to register in the state of Florida. So he did come in and register. He had said he'd been living in the state for a week and um, in St. Lucie County. He already had a job. We're going to his house to see if he's there. He was supposed to obtain a Florida driver's license or ID card uh, no later than a certain date. He had 48 hours to do that. And he hasn't done that as of this morning. He still hadn't done that. So uh, we'll be checking for his ID. We have some calls into uh, Franklin County Sheriff's Office in Kansas. And uh, we'll see if he's He's home this morning. What's that? Gotta be one of these two. It's gotta be. Well, that's 11, it looks like. Got any numbers here? No, that's probably it. Now yeah, let's get out and walk it. I don't see any cars. No cars listed, so. Five thousand seven and seventeen. This is nine. Apartment B, right? Watch your step. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Detective Woodward with Sheriff's Office. Um, is anybody living next door? Is it this guy? All right, I'm going to knock again. Thank you, ma'am. Says so she's pregnant. Good. We got Michael. Where'd you get him at? Where are you at? We're up in uh, Lakewood Park right now. Uh, we're at 37 and I am. Yeah. You want to go talk to him? You need to talk to him? Yeah. Where you want to meet him at? That, if they can wait there, but if there's a problem. Well, there's a kitty. Somewhere we'll meet you before you get to the jail. Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Okay. That was a good day. Another one. One of our warrant units just found uh, one of our sex offenders that the partner got a warrant for. So go interview him, see what his story is, and uh, He'll be going to jail. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Have a good holiday. 433. I'm sorry. Hang on a minute. We have to document everything we do every time we come out that builds our probable cause in case we have to arrest them later. Okay, well, where we're heading, we're going to meet with the warrants uh, detectives. We, I filed a warrant for um, one of the sex offenders for failing to notify uh, Department of Motor Vehicle of his change of address. We'd been out to the house three or four times. 
uh, looking for him. They said he never lived there, been to other addresses in the um, county, never lived in any of those. So I filed the warrant, got a $25,000 bond, and uh, gave the warrant to our warrants guys, and they just located him, so that's where we're going right now, so I can um, go talk to him and find out where he actually is really living. That's me you. Yeah. <coughs> He's a relatively new guy to uh, St. Lucie County. Um, you know, his first reaction with, with us is he's getting arrested. Unfortunately for them, we don't have time to uh, give everybody two and three chances. Uh, we're, we're pretty much at a zero tolerance. There's, uh, there's a lot of requirements and there's uh, a lot of sex offenders. Hey, Pasa guy. Hi, Michael. I'm Detective Woodward. This is Detective Barton. All right, sir, I'm going to read your Miranda warning, okay? So turn to rest. I have to read this to you, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him slash her present with you before and while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any question if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. Okay, do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? What do you want to do? Do you understand all the rights I've explained to you? I know what you just said. Okay, do you want to talk to us about why you're in, why you're going to jail? I, I'm, I don't understand why I'm going to jail, though. I ain't feel to register none of that. Where are you living? I gave them my address. You can call Rock Road down. I gave them my address. What, what is the address? 1600. What's the address? 1600. 1600 North. When did you move there? I just moved yesterday. Okay. Where you been? I've just been in and out trying to find somewhere because me and the girl have been you arguing, man. But you haven't been at the old address, I right? I have been there, but I, you know what I'm saying, just in and out. That's but you're not living there. We have statements saying that you're not. So this is what you need to do. You're going to jail. There is a bond. It's the bond. But when you leave, it's $50,000. No, $25,000. 25000 right, guys? $25,000. $25,000 bond. Um, Head on then so I can sure. call somebody. Sure. Right Alright, we're all set. Thank you so much. Anytime, Sue. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. Anytime. Right. Let's do, let's but he still down. insists he's living there and there's there's nobody at that house that says he lives there. There's nobody in uh, none of the neighbors. They don't realize that we know the answers to all the questions before we go ask. So uh, we know he's not there. It's a good case and He's angry because he's not going to be able to make the $25,000 bond.